Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to send a JMS message uh, using Java, simple Java code to ActiveMQ. Okay, so uh, uh, we have installed ActiveMQ and uh, we are able to see the Active, we are able to log into ActiveMQ console. So this ActiveMQ console, so we have to, we, uh, we don't have any message, we have created a test queue, which name is a test queue one and we'll try to see uh, whether we are able to send a message or not we'll send uh, we we'll send a simple message and we'll see okay so we have created a simple java file a we'll simple java file in the java file uh, we have we need to use our uh, dependent pom files uh, dependency pom files uh, the active mq dependency jars and uh, required active mq dependency jars and jms uh, 2.0 and i'm using 5.2 so two versions, so we have a 5.16 and 9, 17.0 later, so we are using 5.2 and I create a simple class, uh, just a simple class, uh, in this class, uh, in uh, the sender, from this uh, we will create a connection using a URL, the URL should be, uh, this is the URL, this should be, this is a URL for the broker, this is the URL for the broker, message broker and I am giving the credentials, so this is a test and username and test is the password to get a connection with the uh, active MQ. I'm starting the connection now. Then uh, I'm creating a session uh, using a connect, connection dot uh, create session to send and receive SMS. So we need a session. And the destination is a destination where I'm giving a subject here as a test queue. So I'm using a test queue, which I created in my active MQ. So this is the active MQ, uh, active MQ uh, queue test q1 so this is already created so i'm using the same queue here so if you want to change uh, q name so we can change the q name still as per our requirement uh, we can change the q name uh, if you want to create a new queue so if you give a q name here which doesn't exist in your active mq still your active mq in the java code will uh, create a new queue if it doesn't exist if it already existing it will push the same message into active mq okay now i'm creating a producer this is a producer, creating a producer, create producer and this is a destination. So that destination what we created before, I'm assigning to my producer. And this is my text message, what I want to send now. And I'm sending producer.send. Okay, uh, I'm sending producer.send. I'm printing, uh, printing after uh, sending. Okay, after, after sending. message okay so this is the active hello active mq world so we don't have any messages in this queue i will refresh it uh so this is a queue till we don't have any message just let us run this in, uh, uh, java file java saved it so it's going to run now Yeah, connected successfully, connected successfully to localhost 616 is a default port. If your broker is changed, if your broker is running on the specific port, you need to mention your uh, uh, details. Okay, so the default port, so I didn't change anything. And if you come to our message, uh, text uh, queue, one, we should see a message with uh, uh, so hello welcome to the active mq so this is a message what we sent from uh, our java code okay so this is how we need to uh, send uh, we can use of uh, uh, active mq for sending messages and uh, publishing messages and we can consume so in the next video we'll see how to consume a message from an active mq uh, before that you need to make sure that uh, i mean uh, just uh, revising again so we need to have the, our dependency jar files in our build path so here I'm using the Maven. So if we can add, if we can add Ant, Gradle, and still we can add uh, uh, adding jars by right, by right clicking on the project in the Eclipse, and you can add a build source. You can add build path. You can add build path configure, and you can add your uh, download of jars here into a lib folder. Okay. So this is how we can add our jars. Uh, 
we need to use the charge which is compatible with your uh, uh, active MQ. So 5.12 is compatible with my active MQ which I have installed. So yeah, so as per the uh, version compatibility, we need to use those things. Yeah, thanks, thanks for listening.